Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Gold Rush 2. Und wir haben beim letzten Mal einen Check. This is a bank note issued by the Brooklyn Bank. Ja, ja. Einen Check äh, über 37.000 Dollar bekommen und werden uns damit jetzt einfach mal ganz spontan die Zeitung kaufen. Wieso auch nicht? <lacht> ja. Die Schwebefrau ist wieder da. Ich freue mich. So, und rein hier. Wunderbar. Und da ist der Chef. Hi, ich habe ein bisschen Kohle für dich. Ja, nicht wirklich. Also nicht wahr. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ich habe 37.000, mehr als du dachtest. Here is a banknote for the 35.000 dollars you agreed to, plus an additional 2000 dollars. I'm giving you the extra 2000 dollars to say thank you, because I came here willing to pay double what you agreed to. Have a very nice day, Weist. Well now, I guess we have a deal then. My editor is in the front office on the other side of the building. Der wird jetzt erstmal schön fett gefeuert, denn ich bin hier der neue Boss. <lacht> Hello, my name is Jared Wilson. Yes, Jared Wilson. I'm sure you have heard of me. I just purchased the Brooklyn Evening Star and that makes me your new boss. I'd like to thank you for all of your hard work in the last few years. Now, with that being said, you're fired. I'll just stay right here while you take your things out of the desk and leave the building. Uh, oh, um, okay. Hm. Okay. So, Nicolas, hallo? Wieso? Äh. You see nothing important. Ich konnte gerade nicht raus, da war da irgendwie festgebackt, wie es so auch immer. So. Dann gehen wir nochmal rein, da ist die Schwebefrau. So, Hallöchen. Here I am, Mr. Wilson. I'm ready to get to work. From this day forward, this newspaper will only print the truth. No more lies. Wunderbar. Now that you are the new owner of the Brooklyn Evening Star, You discuss with Nicholas how you plan to start printing the truth about your brother, yourself, and William Tweed's political corruption. The new editor starts printing stories that expose the lies about Jake and Jared. It will tell their true story about Jake being framed and having to leave town, how Jared went to California to find him, how they became wealthy and returned to Brooklyn to stop the crime and corruption, documenting the crimes that Tweed and his gang have committed, listing the names of the people who are on Tweed's payroll, advertisements asking people with first-hand knowledge about Tweed's criminal activities to come forward and testify against him in court. Jetzt geht's hier aber ab. Gut. Ähm, was geht hier so ab? Ich würde ganz gerne mal reinschauen. Das sieht ganz interessant aus. So, gut. Ähm, die Schwebefrau ist hier irgendwo. Ich will wissen, was die jetzt sagt. Ich sollte mich ja jetzt nicht mehr beschimpfen. Eigentlich, außer sie liest die Zeitung nicht und ist dumm und ungebildet, wer weiß. Hi, how are you? Hello, Mr. Wilson. Well, we're not exactly living the American dream here in Brooklyn, but at least the new newspaper articles have explained that you are here to help us get the city back on track. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. And I wish you all the best. Bitte schön. Eventuell ist jetzt ähm, hier jetzt auch jemand. Fände ich zumindest cool. <lacht> Tatsächlich, ich raste aus. Der Leonard, mein fetter Freund. Hello, Leonard. It's nice to see you again after all this time. In case you don't recognize me, I'm Jared Wilson. I'm looking for Mr. Quail. Do you know where he is? Good day, Mr. I recognize the name, but I don't recognize you. I'm practically blind without my glasses, and I lost them outside here somewhere. I can't find them because I can't see without them. It's a fact that you don't know who you can trust these days, and I can't talk to you about Mr. Quail if I can't see your face. Kein Problem. Hello, Leonard. 
Look, I found your glasses in the garden. Here, try putting these on and see if you recognize me. Wait a second, they're a little bent up. There, that's much better. Hold out your hand and I'll give them to you. Oh my goodness, Jared? It's you. I am overjoyed to see you. Mr. Quail's here. He's been hiding in my basement for what seems like a coon's age. He's meeting with someone else right now, but you can come in and see him. Ja, wunderbar. Dann würde ich sagen, wir gehen da mal hin. La la la. Hallöchen. Mr. Quail. Hello, Mr. Quail. I'm so glad that we finally meet again. How are you doing? Hello, Jared. Yes, I'm also glad to see you. It's been years, but we can talk in detail later. Right now we have very important issues to discuss. Yes, I agree. Shall we get started? I want you to meet Norman Morrison. Norman is the district attorney and he has been watching the activities of William Tweed's organization for some time. It is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Jared Wilson. I'm glad Mr. Quayle has friends like you to keep him out of trouble. We simply need some strong evidence that will prove Tweed's guilt in court. Norman is building a case against him, but he needs more hard evidence. I think I can help you. When Jake left Brooklyn, he took a container of evidence against Tweed with him. He buried it in the ground on his way west. It was safe there for all this time, and we recovered it when we came back. Jake is staying in New York City because he's still wanted by the law, and the gang would recognize him here. He will come here when Tweed's trial begins. Diese Stelle. Äh, das war das hier, oder? This is the last letter, Mr. Quail. Ähm, um, oder? This weatherproof box contains... Ja, das hier war's, glaube ich. Here is the evidence we recovered. This should be enough to make the charges against Tweed stick. Here, take a look. This box contains documents Jake took from Tweed's organization and sworn affidavits from witnesses to crimes Tweed committed while Jake was working for him. Crimes like burglary, extortion, and murder. This is very good. This is what we have been hoping for. I'll prepare the indictment and then move forward. But it will take some time. Are you sure this is enough evidence? This is vital evidence for the case. But if we had current evidence from people inside Tweet's organization, it would be great if we could question someone in the gang. How is that possible? You should speak with Rayburn at the police station. He may have some ideas, but his ideas are seldom without danger. Jared, are you willing to help Rayburn even if it's dangerous? Yes, I am. I will go to Rayburn. I'll see you again soon. Dann machen wir das doch mal. Wo die Polizeistation ist, weiß ich ja zum Glück. Einmal hier, einmal hier, einmal hier, einmal hier, einmal hier lang, dann noch dort. Äh, ähm, hier, lalala, dann nach unten und das sind wir auch schon nach 30 Milliarden Jahren. So, du bist Rayburn, genau, perfekt. Hello. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have lost my Pudelhund. Oh, Jared. I Pudelhund. <laughs> Let's talk quietly so we won't be overheard. Many police officers have seen you in town. I've heard them talk about you, so I'm sure Tweed knows you're in Brooklyn. The gang will try to kill you if they can find you. And I think we can use that to lure a few of them into a trap. When the gang is together, they act real tough, but get them by themselves and they're all cowards. If I can interrogate a couple of members, they'll sing like birds and give us information on Tweed's organization. I will then have enough evidence to arrest Tweed and bring him to trial. I know, it's dangerous, but will you help us, Jared? Yes, I will do that to put Tweed in jail. The gang has been known to hang out in the hardware store. Give me and my men a one minute head start and then go to Rand's hardware store. We will go to the park near the gazebo and hide. Tell the clerk your name and take care of your business there. And then go to the park and stay near the gazebo. Some of Tweed's gang may follow you. If they catch you before you get to the park, they will kill you and we won't be there to help you. Good luck, Jared. Ja, super, ich raste aus. Toll, das klingt doch äh, wunderbar. Machen wir. Also, hier ist der Hardware-Laden. 
da müssen wir rein und ganz laut unser Name rufen. Das sollte ja das geringste Problem sein. Hi. That guy looks like a troublemaker. You had better keep your distance from him. Hi. My name is Jared Wilson. Do you remember me, Rand? Jared? Is it really you? How many years has it been since you left? Yes, it is me. It's been a long time. If my count is correct, it's been about 20 years. I hope you're doing all right. Yes, I'm all right. But as you can see, we're going through some hard times here in Brooklyn. But I think we'll pull through. If I could do it all over again, I would have gone to California when you did. Did you hear that? That's Jared Wilson, the guy Boss Tweed told us about. He told us to kill him when we see him. Let's follow him. Hey, Rand. It occurred to me after I left for California that I may have left an outstanding balance. Will you check for me? Sure. Let me get the old book out. It's kind of dusty. Whew. Wow, Jared. There is an outstanding balance. It isn't much, though. It says $12.86 is owed. Here, please take this $100 and keep the change for your trouble. Please accept my apologies for the late payment. Thank you, Jared. Apology accepted. Are you sure about keeping the change? That is a large sum of money. Thank you, Rand. Yes, please believe me, I can afford it. Wow. Now I'm sure I should have gone to California with you. Okay, dann gehen wir mal raus. Und die sollten uns jetzt ja eigentlich folgen. Mal schauen. Hm. Yep, okay. Kann ich da nicht lang? Äh, äh hallo? Der kann sich nicht bewegen. Finally, we have you. Der konnte sich nicht bewegen. Ja, toll. Der hat sich einfach nicht bewegt. Ich raste aus. Also hier raus. Dann habe hab ich jetzt mit ihm geredet. Nein. Na, ah, toll. Also nochmal rein. Das ganze Gespräch nochmal von vorne. So, Rand. Hallöchen. Hi. So, einmal, zweimal, geh doch, schnell, renn um dein Leben. Renn um dein Leben, Sherrod. Dann hier lang und an meinem Park irgendwo hin. <lacht> so viel weiß ich, toll. Ich raste aus. Ähm, This is the down ja, beeil dich doch. Wohin, wohin, wohin? Vielleicht hier hin? Vielleicht? Ich weiß es nicht. Ich gehe einfach mal dahin. Oh, schöne Windgeräusche. Äh, Total unauffällig. Ah, oh, jetzt. Ah, oh, toll. Finally, we have you. <lacht> <lacht> Doch kacke. Ich mach da jetzt gar nichts mehr. Jetzt geht nichts mehr. Gut, äh, ich würde sagen, bis zum nächsten Mal. Und das Spiel ist abgeschmiert, glaube ich. Gut, gut. Äh, äh, tschüss.